Hi everyone, this is Yash, and today I'm going to tell you how to make objects collide uh, while you are dragging one of the object under your mouse position. So, what generally we do to drag an object under your mouse position is convert the screen point to world point with uh, any camera, and that assign that converted world position to this object we want to drag. So that will uh, result that this object will not collide with any other object for example if this object has rigid body and also a collider and this one is also has rigid body and collider but they will not collide because we are forcefully assigning the position to that object and even if we leave it inside this object it will put it outside okay but we don't want our sphere to go inside at the first place so what should we do now i will also tell you the reason why it's happening and the reason behind the next method we are going to i'm going to tell you that why that works and this doesn't work okay so basically i'm going to tell you what happens inside the physics engine so i'm going to illustrate you this very uh, basic thing and let's say this box is our physics engine and it only calculates the uh, velocity and everything of a single object so what what the physics engine do internally is it takes these objects velocity and uh, any other uh, user functions like add force and everything converted to velocity and then provide the data to physics engine it takes the its position its direction and all this stuff and that calculates the next position of that object so every property of the rigid body will be going to be the position of that object in next frame and if we assign transform dot position by our script you will you are uh, going to override this result means it will physics engine will position that object by its velocity and all the stuff but you are assigning new position so object will not be here object will be somewhere you wanted and that is under your mouse position and even if physics engine stopping the sphere at the edge of the box you are assigning a new position which is inside the box so it is you are overriding the physics engine so same thing will happen if you use transform dot position or rigid body dot position both will override this position so what should we do to also drag that object under your mouse and not uh, do not affect the collision or output of this physics engine so for that we have to make changes here and we should not over at this position okay so how we will do it so let's first uh, take a look at our current script which, I, which we are going to modify to make it work so right now uh, we have a camera a transform of that sphere and a float to convert this uh, screen position to world position which we will require in that function screen to world point okay so first of all, first of all we have took this input dot mouse position to vector 3 then assign its z component which is the distance from the camera and then converted this screen to world point this position will be now world position okay and that world position we are assigning to this sphere dot position so each time uh, sphere is being positioned under your cursor okay which is not working right now so collision is not working so what we will do so I have written the working one right here which I have commented so let's switch to that okay I'm going to comment this out so instead of overriding the position and assigning it directly we will leave the calculation of position on physics engine 
what we will change is the velocity of that object okay so how we will do it so first of all we will calculate this uh, world position as we did above okay so nothing changed till here but then we have calculated the direction of the sphere for example if uh, let me show you if the sphere is here okay and in next frame in next frame is sphere is going to be here uh, so it's basically your uh, finger position and it's the position of sphere in previous frame okay so its direction is going to be this so sphere should move this much in this direction okay so what its velocity is going to be so its velocity is going to be this uh, i'm sorry the velocity is going to be the distance this much divided by time and time is a one frame time okay so if we provide this much velocity here the physics engine automatically calculate the next position and it will also calculate the collision in between so we are not assigning the position directly but this physics engine will based on the velocity it will detect the collision and stop the uh, sphere from going inside the a uh, cube or wall whatever you want to say it and the next position calculated by the physics engine will be at the edge of that okay so we are to get the direction of point a from point b the equation is very simple if you are not familiar with the vec uh, vector maths b minus a will be the arrow a to b okay so um, memorize it as uh, a to b direction is b minus a it is inverse okay so right now we have did this position is your finger position and this sphere dot position is actual sphere position in next uh, in sorry in previous frame so this direction will be from sphere's current position to your finger position where we want to move it okay and i have assigned this velocity assign this direction as a velocity okay so let's see the effect i'm stopping the editor and playing it now so now we are dragging it with the velocity and if you think that the sphere is lagging then you can increase the speed by multiplying the velocity what i have did is i have multiplied this uh, velocity by 10 you can even further multiply it by 15 or 20 to make it quick okay but it looks smooth so i have kept it as it is okay so if we now do this it will stop because the next position we are not assigning we are leaving it to the physics engine which detects the collision and stops the ball here okay so this is how we can do this otherwise the other way around is uh, making your own physics script and working with that detecting the collision and restrict this uh, ball's position based on the radius and stuff but this is very pretty much easy and if you see if i do this and it will go away so for that on mouse on mouse position up you should make ball dot position uh, sorry ball dot velocity zero which we didn't so let's do it if input dot get mouse button up zero then what we have to do is should body dot velocity is equal to vector three dot zero so when we do mouse up this ball will stop moving which is the natural behavior we want yeah. now it will not go out okay. good so that's it if you have any questions please comment subscribe and if you have any doubts or questions please comment uh, below and when I
if I know the solution I will make a video on it and thanks for watching have a nice day or night I don't know